Hey guys, Phil Slash Polygoring. Welcome to episode 18 of the channel, Back in the Flow. I say that because I feel like it's been a while since I put out just a regular numbered episode of Dark Souls PvP. I've been working on my purist guide, I've been working on some other random content for the channel, but we are back in the saddle. And what a saddle it was. Uh, <laughs> oh dear, check out the little floating shotel coming at me here. What a treat. Uh, so now granted, I handled the situation terribly, I could have played this a lot better, but after I'm hacked out of existence, pun intended, by these guys, they throw me a gesture that I find to be a little condescending, and it actually has me thinking a lot about gestures, I was going to talk about that, kind of a weird topic, I was going to talk a little bit about the state of Dark Souls PvP, some other random stuff, here we go. Ah, bully. Bully from modding. Uh, we have not seen the last of those guys. They make a couple more appearances, <laughs> but it's in the context of conversation. Uh, just a little bit of setup first. Here's my build. I know people are often curious about stuff like this. Here's what we're working with. Um, I made a little Balder Swag spell sword. Sacrificed a lot of endurance to get my dex high for the spellcasting increase. Uh, and my int to 44 for my Crystal Soul Spears. I loves me some Crystal Soul Spears. And I'm also not grassing for a better part of the for better part of the fights. For the most part, that's just laziness. I know Chester is 20 paces away. I should just waltz over and re up. Uh, but I was just thinking, meh. I feel like PVPing. I just feel like kind of goofing around, seeing what's out there. So I'll deal with grass later. So when you see me run out of stamina, damn near every fight, that is why. Also contextually, these first couple of clips not showcasing the greatest of my moments, uh, but they are relevant to the topic at hand. So I included them for that, just to <laughs> share a little bit of my travails. So now I've actually taken a little bit of a break from random encounters. I've been doing a lot of setup matches with buddies and stuff like that, and a lot of PVE, but haven't really gone out and just bombed around in the wilds of Lordran to see what was going on out there. Uh, these guys were kind of my welcome back my welcoming committee. I literally logged in, picked up my sticks, and these guys snatched my summon sign three times in a row. Um, not much to say about it. They are clearly hacking. They are clearly modding. They're just kind of on a little murder patrol here in the township. They put the troll in patrol in uh, Ulysseal Township. And after every death, as I lay there dying, turning into that shower of particles that happens when you uh, pass away in this game, they kept throwing out what I perceive to be condescending gestures. They'd give me the uh, look skyward or the point down or the well, what is it? And I got so upset about it. And it sort of put me on the tracks to board the train of thought in thinking about gestures. And for the most part, shame on me for that, right? I mean, those guys, their motives were clear as day. They're just out there harassing people. It's only my idiocy that ex expected anything but a condescending gesture at the end. But it did kind of bring up some interesting thoughts that I wanted to share with you guys. And it's kind of a weird topic. I know gestures are sort of soft. And I'm sure most people don't really think about them at all, aside from just kind of having fun with them, using them, throwing them out there. They are such an important part of the game, though. I mean, in all of the Souls games, they are your only means of communicating anything to your allies or your opponents. They're the only means you have of putting any kind of personality on your character. And they are so cool, man. The developers did such a stellar job of rendering these things and capturing emotion with these things. I just, I love the hell out of them. I, I actually use them all the time. Even in PvE, when nobody's around to see them, I still throw out gestures. I still throw out a joy when I beat a boss for my own personal enjoyment. But yeah, I mean that's how you put personality with your with your uh, with your build. If you want to be honorable and you bow, if you want to be friendly and you wave, if you want to be a little bit of an ass and throw out a look skyward after you pound somebody into the ground, gestures are your means of doing it. So I do put a lot of weight in them. I think a lot of people do, which is why they're so widely used. And that's probably why I get a little upset when I lose a fight and somebody throws out a, one of the you know sort of critical gestures, the well, what is it, or the uh, look skywards, or the uh, point down, any of those things that, you know, people do to just kind of rub your nose in it after a defeat. I remember this actually, pause, <laughs> this was so unfortunate, I tried to come in and help the host against this guy that was just popping divine blessings like candy, got inadvertently backstabbed, and lo, he throws out a gesture, as if to say, dude, I am so sorry, that was completely an accident. 
The power of gestures. But back to the pulse fight gestures. I, I think it's kind of an, an issue in the community too. Not an issue, but a thing in the community. Because I hear people comment on them all the time. I mean, especially in those situations where you get beat and the guy didn't really do anything that fancy or you just kind of played badly. Uh, how common is the situation where you run into somebody that is just stacking the fuck out of poise, rocking a Falchon, they throw on a Dark Moon Blade plus three, grab that thing in two hands, and just come in hot. Swing, 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 swing. Maybe you fall to the spam because the parry timings are a little weird, whatever it is. Uh, and then afterwards, they throw you a look skyward. And the first thought in my head is always just sort of like, dude, seriously? I hope you didn't think you did anything there. I hope you don't think you you are some kind of badass. Then I'm always hit with like the follow-up thought, cold splash of reality that's sort of like, well, he didn't really do anything and he's not really that badass. What does that say about me? He just took my milk money and I'm sitting here turning into that shower of particles. Big Red, you died. And I find this kind of interesting because i try at least i strive to have decently soft skin regarding sorry <laughs> decently thick skin though it's also very soft i moisturize regarding other facets of dark souls pvp especially around play styles and things like that you know i i might hate absolutely hate the way that my opponent plays but i try to take it as a learning opportunity and say like oh i just need to get better to face that in the future gestures always hurt my feelings I am just hypersensitive to them, especially uh, those post-fight gestures, because there isn't really anything you can learn from them. Uh, it literally seems like the other guy is just kind of being a dick. He is just trying to tell you, get good, scrub, wrecked, whatever it is. Or so I thought. I'm going to take a little bit of a tangent. Uh, it will tie back to gestures and talk about sports. For a moment, I captured these clips last Sunday, and after I finished my little session of PvP, I went off to watch some football. Uh, just my local team, American football, I should specify for the global friends of the channel. And I was hit by just a moment of fucking astonishment at how much the player interactions reminded me of Dark Souls PvP. Because every time the defense would make a critical stop, every time the offense would make a big play or score a touchdown, the players would jump out and throw out some sort of gesture that was creepily reminiscent of some of the Dark Souls gestures, the look skywards, especially the well what is it's. And it was just kind of the other team's responsibility to take that in stride and say, all right, well, we just got look skywarded. What do we need to do in order to not get look skywarded again? And... I got the impression, um, this is probably naive and hopeful, that it wasn't the players who threw out the gestures saying, you know, you just got pwned, you suck. It was much more of a celebratory act for them. They were pleased that they did something right. They were pleased that in that moment, everything came up them. I should have said that a lot different, but they were just they were just happy. They were just sort of expressing elation at the fact that they did something well. And it was a, you know, fortuitous turn of events. It wasn't to make a personal criticism against the other team or the other players. It was much more of a celebratory act on their part. And I'm sure that's the occurrence in, in other sports as well. It's not exclusive to American football. Um, but I'm going to try and interpret these post-fight gestures from Dark Souls PvP in the same manner. I When I just get obliterated... I'm going to try and take the uh, point downs as, you know, just the other guy being happy at the way it turned out. Maybe he feels like he did a good job. Maybe he's happy he came away with the win. It's not a personal criticism of me. Like I said, that's probably monumentally naive because I acknowledge the fact there are a lot of people out there, especially in the arena of gamers gaming, who are just kind of asses. And they are trying to tell you that, you know, you suck and I'm awesome. But to maintain some shred of sanity, to maintain some shred of grace, uh, keep my head about me in these situations and not go on tilt like I was talking about a couple episodes ago, I'm just going to take that in stride with the loss. It's a learning opportunity. It's all part of the same package, and it's not a personal criticism. I need to get rid of some of that egocentric view of it. They're not talking to me specifically. They're just, you know, happy with the way it ended. What a terrible throw with that alluring skull goodness. So I don't know what your experience is with gestures. I don't know if they if they kind of 
bend you out of shape the same way they do me. Um, let me know what you think. I'm really curious to hear what you guys throw out gestures for. Um, do you use like the, well, what is it's in the look skywards and the point downs and stuff like that? I personally don't. Really, the only time I will try to communicate criticism to the other player is in a situation that is a duel and the guy is just continuously healing. In that case, I will throw him a shrug just to say, you know, WTF, man, it's a duel. What are you doing chugging on your Estes in this situation? So if I mean when you use these gestures, what are you what are you doing? Are you are you gonna burst my bubble and say like nope, I'm trying to tell you that you suck? <laughs> or is it just sort of uh just sort of a chest bump? Okay. So I'm gonna take this random opportunity to just say, I hate playing against turtles. God damn. Uh, and then also cap the gesture talk. I've got a nagging suspicion that is plenty, if not way too much speculation on gestures. But do let me know what you think. Um, another thing I kind of wanted to bring up was sort of the state of Dark Souls PvP or the health, I guess, of Dark Souls PvP. Because on a lot of videos I've been checking out lately, the commentator has said, you know, Dark Souls is dying. Dark Souls is slowing down. It's not what it really used to be. I absolutely buy that because the game is kind of getting long in the tooth. And keep in mind that I have only been at this since late July of this year, July of uh, 2013. So I wasn't around in the heyday. I don't really have a lot of context. And up until a couple of weeks ago, I would say I, I still had no problem finding just random encounters for matches. You know, this time, this session was the first time I really noticed it being a little bit slow. There would be long periods of time between invaders coming in, between summon signs showing up. I got summoned a couple times by those uh, hacker gankers right out of the gate. But outside of that, didn't really get a lot of action in terms of being summoned, didn't invade anybody. So it does seem like it's slowing down a little bit. Let me know what you guys think about that. Has that, has that been your experience as well? Um, and if so, kind of what are you doing to offset that? Are you just playing less? Is there more of a gravitation towards streams and fight clubs and organized matches and things like that? Uh, I guess on that note too, one thing I've noticed is... Uh, quality is not the right word. The play style of random matches seems to have drastically shifted over the past couple of weeks as well. Up until that point, I would say it was about 50-50 in my experience. Guys coming in looking for honor duels randomly, and then guys looking for street fights. Um, just sort of the uh, Halo mentality, the Call of Duty kill streak, win-win-win mentality. Lately, it, I would say it's about 90-10, 90% street fights to only 1 in 10 guys looking for an honor duel in random encounters. That is not a complaint. Let me be very clear. That is just an observation. It's not a criticism. It's not a complaint. That's just something I am noticing. Um, and it actually has kind of a few upsides. One, it's probably truer to the intent of the game where invaders play like invaders. Their sole purpose is to come in and slay the host take your humanity and be on your merry way at all costs. Um, there's not that meta layer of, is this a duel? Is this an invasion? We bow, all that kind of stuff. It's just sort of like, nope, I am going to gesture bait you and then come up and backstab. I would say another pro of sort of that shift is uh, it's made it fairly predictable to go out and get the kind of matches that I want to get. If I want duels, I hit up my friends list. You know, see somebody online sort of like, hey, man, you want to have a couple matches? And then you go out and, um, you know, it's very clean. They're honor duels. And you can set up rules beforehand, however you want to handle it. Uh, but it is very, good lord. Man, that uh, two-handed stun lock with the Velka's Rapier there reminds me of Demon Souls. If you two-handed your S-stock in Demon Souls, that thing was a beast. You could just stagger people into oblivion. Nice uh, fancy finish there too. But yeah, if I want duels, I know exactly how to go about it. I hit up friends, go out and have some uh, honor duels. If I want to feel like I'm ridding the world of scum and villainy, uh, that's probably an exaggeration, but I always like an opportunity to quote Obi-Wan. I go out and have random encounters because 9 out of 10 of them are these out for blood types that are just sort of uh, playing to win at all, at all costs. Stacking shit tons of poise. Um, playing with not the most honorable of tactics. Um, so it's able, it allows me to sort of control uh, the types of matches that I get. So let me know, has that been your experience as well? Or uh, do I just kind of have my head in the sand about this and maybe I'm just noticing it now? 
And again, just to be clear and redundant, that's not a criticism. That is not a complaint, just something I'm noticing. That random encounters these days have no interest in having uh, clean fights or very little interest in having clean fights. It's kind of something interesting, just kind of an odd community dynamic I picked up. Uh, I'm going to cap it there. I feel like I was talking incredibly fast for this entire 15 minutes or so. Uh, so I shall bow out. want to say thanks as always for watching and listening. Uh, feedback is welcome. Hit me up in the comments. I think I'm getting a little better handle on the uh, Google Plus integration. Um, so let me know what you think. Thumbs up, thumbs down. Give me a sub if you like it. And I shall catch you next time. Probably with another installment of the Purist's Guide. See you guys.